Space Bandit is a fast twin stick shooter. I'm enjoying it, so I wanted to tell you about it. Your goal is to run through these tiny enclosed levels and kill all the enemies. When you first start out, none of them know you're there until you break open a wall or shoot or kick another enemy. Then they all come descending down on your position, trying to kill you, and they will shoot you from really far away. Honestly, they'll, they'll actually shoot you from off screen, which can be a little annoying. They'll also shoot you through walls. There's these certain blocks, singular blocks in the levels you can see. They are destructible and somehow all the enemies know they're destructible. So you are likely to die in this game. So likely that you will often get a second chance. There's a life raft item you can pick up and if you do die, if you have one of those on your person, you can teleport and you'll still continue to live until you either die again or then you're permanently dead or hopefully you'll find another life. The enemies are the best part of this game. Like I said, they will hunt you down and try and kill you at the spot they heard you from. So they're going to try and flank you around and you can see them and hopefully outflank them. They don't necessarily work together but they are a little more advanced than something so simple where they're just trying to walk towards you in the most direct way possible. But another thing you probably noticed about this game is how fast it is. It's impossible to move slowly. If you move too slow, you're dead. So where in other games, you actually have an opportunity to slow it down or maybe play in a different way, this one, you really must play as fast as possible. I found the speed of the game to be a little too much. It's a little too fast. You almost don't have a moment to yourself to maybe take a pause and react to what the enemies are doing. You almost have to play this game on instinct. Yeah, true, that instinct does get better the more you play because you kind of figure out what the game is going to do. Anyway, this game is a one run to win kind of game. You can only start from the beginning and then you must play through until you die and then you get to restart the whole thing again. To mix up the gameplay, after so many levels, you're offered a mutation to change things up. So this one, I get a helmet or I can pick a small chance for the enemy to drop a teleporter. Of course, I go with the helmet. Is that a good decision? I'm not 100% sure that the upgrades are fine. Sometimes the guns shoot harder or faster and some of the upgrades are weird, like chopping off your one hand. So I guess you can only carry one gun at a time, but then every gun you pick up is a rail gun, which shoots through walls. So that is useful, but also doesn't have a lot of ammo. So maybe that's not useful. They're weird. You don't have to pick one though, which is really nice. After completing so many levels in one zone, you get to move on to the next zone. But first, you must beat a boss. And so this is a boss room right here. The boss's health is at the top. I'm not even sure I can see this boss, but whatever, I beat them. So then you get to move on to the next zone, which looks pretty much exactly like this one. In the next zone, there are grenades, so there is a difference. Now, I do want to talk about the guns for just a second because they're practically invisible in this game. Yeah, no, I mean, you're obviously picking up guns and using them, but which gun you have, how much ammo it has, and anything else is not really important in the game. Really, as long as you have a gun and you can shoot the gun, you're doing good. There's no strategy to which guns you have or anything like that. Of course, I have to compare this game to Hotline Miami because it's sort of trying to do that. It's interesting though, because Space Bandit is so much tighter and more compact and it feels so much closer together when you're in these claustrophobic spaces, unlike Hotline Miami, which had big open corridors and rooms that you'd had to break down the doors. I found everything much clearer in that game. And in here, sometimes I shoot a window, I guess, to space and it blows open and kills some enemies. And I don't ever do that on purpose. That surprises me every time. I do wish Space Bandit was a little clearer and blocked off some sections more to make it have more strategy as you're running through. You're really trying to just look at the enemies, 
try and figure out what they think they're gonna do. Do the opposite so you can run around them and shoot them from behind. And that's, that's it, murder them all. So far, this video has been one single playthrough uncut. And I'm gonna continue that, but this run is almost over because I'm going to die. So we gotta get to the summary. Overall, Space Bandit is fun. And I enjoyed myself trying to stay alive and figuring out what the game was gonna do and how it works. Personally, I found some things that conflicted with what I enjoyed in this genre, but it's a well-made game and I can see why people would enjoy it. So if you like super fast paced shooters like the one you're watching, then I recommend it to you. Well, we didn't make it to the end of the run, so you're just gonna have to use your imagination on how I died. That said, hit subscribe and maybe you'll see more videos where I die in other games. Thanks for watching.